Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, so see this side and this is continuation of Power BI tutorial. So in this video, we will see about the conditional formatting in a table. In the last video, we have seen about the conditional formatting for the visualization and this time we will see conditional formatting in the table. So go to on the Power BI desktop and we will see in the practical. So here as we have created this table, so how we can change the background color or how we can change the font of this based on the condition. So first of all, let me select that one. Now we can go to on the format and here we can see the conditional formatting. So we can open that one. After that, we can scroll down. Here we can see we are having option for background color. We have option for font color, then icon, then web URL. So I am very happy to change the background color. So let me on this. So here we can see we have the option for color scale. So I am not going to use the color scale because we have seen in the last video. It's time to create the rules. So here in the format by let me select the rules. So based on field, it will ask the field on which field you want to set the background color. So let me open that one go to on the country sales final table and here we have line total and the sum if this sum value is greater than zero instead of percentage it should be number and is less than 100 then we want to display this as green so we can select the green after that here we can see new rules so we can click on that and here again is greater than this time 100 instead of percentage it should be number and less than 500 then we want to set another color so let me select this one now add a new rule and this time if the value is more than 500 instead of percentage use the number and is less than some dummy number then we can set the background color as light yellow i guess now we can click on ok and we'll see so here we can see the country names if the line total value is more than 500 then we are having this color and if the value is less than 100 then that is light green after that we can see if the value between 100 to 500 then we then we can see the background color is this so we can do the conditional formatting as per our requirement now let me try to change the column so here by default it was selected country name we can also change the condition for line total so here we can select the line total now background colors fonts everything will be changed for the line total so now let me try to change the font color of this so here we can see it is having option for this lighter color now let me click on the advanced control so here again it is having the color scale so you can use the color scale or you can use the rules or you can use the field value go to the rules and this time on which column so go to on the country sales final table and let me select the line total and here sum that is fine is greater than zero and number and is less than or equals to 100 number then we want to set this as red so we can set is like this add a new rule if that value is greater than 100 and number and is less than or equals to 500 then we want to set it like this now add in last rule and if the value is greater than or equals to 501 instead of percentage number and is less than or equals to some dummy number after that we can set it as black now we can click on ok and we'll see so here we can see the red and black and here we can see the light color that is blue light 
so we can do this formatting according to our requirement and we can change the background color we can change the font color so these two options are available and we can also change the data bars so now let me try to click on the data bar and here we can see it is by default having this bar now click on the advanced control and here we can see the past two and for negative like this if we want to make it like if we have positive then that might be green if the negative then that might be red now click on ok so here we don't have any negative values that's why we are seeing these positive values now click on the advanced register and here so bar only and we can click on ok so it will show the bar and will not see the data on that now let me off this so here it is by default so i hope you have understand how we can play with this and if you have any situation like this how we can set the background color of any table or any visualization then we can also make that change we have seen in this video so thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much guys